Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Abdul Al Kamal, and today's problem is how to create different price lists for different customers using the same table. So uh, you might want to give discounted price for um, uh, or different discounted price for uh, different customers. So you may have your uh, wholesale customers, you have your distributors, and you have your loyal customers. Okay, and for each one of them, you want to apply different discounted price. And this is what we're going to do here. So we're going to use the same table to produce three lists. So the first thing uh, we want to do is to uh, create a drop down menu here to select our uh, customer tier. So to do that, we need to create a um, separate list here. And you can create it in a uh, separate sheet if you want. So we're going to say here uh, customer and we're going to say wholesale. This is our first tier. Second tier is uh, distributors. And we have our loyal customers. OK. And to create the drop down menu here, uh, you go to uh, data tab, you go to data validation. Uh, and rather than allowing any value, you want to allow only a list. And that list exists where it exists here. So you select all of it and uh, you hit enter and you hit OK. And as you can see here now, you can see your uh, selection or your drop down menu. And, and what we want to be able to do is when we select wholesale, we get certain discounted price burst, uh, based on uh, a discounted rate that we put here. So let's go ahead and define our uh, discounted rate. Okay, so let's say here discount. And uh, for the wholesale, for example, maybe you want to give them 20%. Uh, for distributors, we want to give them just 10%. And for our loyal customers, we want to give them maybe 30%. Okay. So we have our discounted rates here. And uh, what we want to be able to do is when we select wholesale, for example, we want uh, the retail price to be multiplied by um, 0.8. And when we select distributors, we want the retail price to be multiplied by 0.9. OK, so to do that is to use uh, the VLOOKUP function. So uh, we want to take the retail price and multiply it by a VLOOKUP function. Okay, so what the VLOOKUP is going to do is just going to bring us the correct discount rate based on the selection from this menu. Okay. So the VLOOKUP is going to ask us where, uh, what is your lookup value or where is it? And our lookup value is in this cell. Okay, and we, uh, we need to lock this cell so it doesn't move when we drag it down to the other cells. And so you can press F4 to lock it. And then it's going to ask you for the table array. And this is where to our table array is and uh, the same thing is you need to lock the range press f4 for both cells here and the next thing is uh, it's gonna ask you okay uh, for the column index number uh, basically is asking you where the discount rate is in which column in our uh, table here this is the first column this is the second column so you basically just write two and then the last thing is uh, for the match so when you search for distributors you want to have exact match and the same is true for any text when you uh, search for it okay so and this is it you hit enter and now you get your uh, discounted price based on the uh, discounted rate for distributors, which is 0.9. OK, and let's apply this to all of the cells. And let's just keep no decimals. All right. So now uh, the discounted price is based on a 0.9 discount rate. If you select 
wholesale, the numbers will change because the retail price now is multiplied by 0.8. And if you select loyal customers, you get different discounted price based on 0.7. And the same goes through if you change the discount price. So maybe instead of 0.7, maybe you want to apply 0.65. And you see the numbers change based on that. Okay. So this is how to create um, different price lists based on different customers that you have. I hope you liked the video. If you do, please subscribe. And always come back here uh, for things like this in the future. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you.